Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about some of the new things happening with the Autoblog plugin for WordPress. So first of all, we now have a demo version that you can download and use absolutely for free. Now of course the features are limited since it's a demo version, but aside from the limited features, you can use a demo version as much as you like and upgrade when you're ready for a more robust set of features. So if you want to try out the Autoblog plugin for free, head on over to our website at autoblogplugin.com and request your download link. Now, the other thing is I want to give everyone a glimpse of what the ultimate version looks like and what it can do. So right here are the settings for the ultimate version. So you have your typical settings here, the API token. Okay. And we've added a couple of things here. Like you can set your max tokens on the title request. How this works is a max tokens is basically letting the API know basically the max amount of tokens are going to be used. Like the to a token basically is equivalent to how much text it's going to give back. So the reason why I added this feature is because I had some long titles that kept on getting cut off like towards the end. So if that's happening, um, the best thing to do is really just increase this. I, I think the default we had before was around 20 or 30 and my long titles were getting cut. So if you have titles that are getting cut, the best thing to do is just to increase this. Now it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna give you a longer title, it just gives you, that you just allow it to go longer, basically, if, if it needs to. The next thing we added was a way for the Autoblog to pull images from the OpenAI API. So how this works is first you need to activate it. So click yes on there. And then this section right here is a prefix to the total prompt that's going to be sent in uh, to request the image. So it's going to be this prefix plus the title that was generated by the auto blog. So let's look at an example here. So you would have this prefix right here plus this part right here, a guide to understand your feline friend. And so this was the image that he gave back and it automatically posted the image with this blog post. Now keep in mind, I know this looks really big here. Um, I think this is a theme thing. So the image actually gets attached to the blog post as the featured image or thumbnail. So it just depends on, on your theme, on how this is gonna display in the actual blog post. Um, the dimensions of the image is 512 by 512. So if you want this to look you know, a little nicer, not so big around, you, that's something you, you would just deal on, on the theme side. The next thing are the body options. So we, we added a feature here where you can add a prefix and a postfix to the body article or the body of the article. So whatever you want to add before the, the, the actual article starts, you can put that here. Um, and then after the article, if you want to include something in there, you can type that in here. You can use HTML or just regular text. So the next thing is the body prompt prefix and the max tokens. So the max tokens, this is for the body part. Um, just like it works the same way as the title, as I explained earlier. So this won't necessarily command it to give it uh, a longer body or a longer article. This is just stating the max that it can go. Now, if you wanted to make it something longer or play around with the prompt, which is why I added this right here, this was the basic uh, built-in prompt in the background. What it would do, it would take this portion of it and combine it with the title that was generated. So you don't have to put the actual title in here. All you have to do is put something like this. So it's going to be like write an article for a blog titled and then in the in the background it's going to combine the actual title that was generated for this blog post. Now, if you wanted to control the the length 
of uh, the article, you might be able to add something on her. It's not necessarily going to work. Sometimes the uh, ChatGPT or OpenAI doesn't always give you the length that you want, but you can maybe put something like write, write um, a 10 paragraph article for a blog titled whatever right so it's going to automatically get the title that was generated so these two kind of go hand in hand so if you want this to be longer and if, if it's cutting off if it's not long enough or whatever so you can increase this to maybe three thousand just just for example i don't know how many tokens you're you'll need to accommodate how many paragraphs or whatever um, and also stating something like a 10 par paragraph article won't necessarily get you a 10 paragraph article. That's just how ChatGPT works sometimes. Um, but we do have th these settings that you can play around with. Next thing here is the post status. Pretty standard thing. You can have it automatically publish or save the article as a draft. Now the interval we edited all these different intervals on here and a turn off option now if you guys watched my previous video you'll know that uh, when we were testing things out we were having issues with the intervals updating and running and all that stuff well guess what it's all fixed now so this portion of the plugin is running smooth so you have all these options now as well now the topic category and include in rotation so this right here having all these different topics that you can set up is for the ultimate version of the autoblog plugin so how this works is let's say you have an interval of six hours every six hours and what we have set up here this one's yes 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 no so that that's not going to run anything so every six hours it's going to go to the next topic so the first time it runs it's going to run this topic with whatever post category um that you choose to go with it okay because and it's, it's activated so that's a yes there so on the first time it runs it's going to do it based on this topic and then six hours later, it's gonna do this topic. And then six hours later, this topic, and six hours later, that topic. So essentially, you created four blog posts with four different topics in one day. Because, you know, six hours times four is 24 hours. So that's how this is set up. Um, it's basically gonna just rotate through. So the, this interval schedule, it's just is every time it creates a blog post but it's not it's not going to be like all of these topics every six hours it's one topic every six hours so that's how that works and then down here we have a way for you to do a manual run or a manual test to make sure everything's running smoothly and that's about it this is all the features we have for the ultimate right now if you want to get your own feel free to visit our website autoblogplugin.com thanks for watching